So if you're around my age or even older and you happen to have grown up in a South African Gassi or even a suburb, maybe you know how important the home sound system was back when we were kids. It was the companion to the TV, a huge source of entertainment. During the week, his sound system would inform your dad about the news around the globe when he tuned into his favorite radio station. The sound system would wake you up on a Saturday morning with the Tamiya before the stoop needed to be frayed. And on Sunday, it would be on full blast with Rebecca Malope when your mom is boiling the kettle for the Sunday service pre-drinks. And oh, come around December, it would be a competition on the street on who could blast it the loudest. I mean, I don't really fully remember all the big players in the home sound system game, but the ones I do remember was the old black Technics Deca system with the gold finishes back in the 90s. And in the 2000s, I remember my mom and dad every time we'd pass Mokels or Ibradlos saying that they need to get that Sony 7.1 channel sound system, or as it was affectionately dubbed, Umgongo. It's 2020 now, and most of the households I visit, I see we in the age of these thin sound bars below the TVs, especially friends who've moved to the suburbs. And hey, I, I get it, man. Like, they sound good enough, and they aren't too loud to get a complaint from Mrs. Vormerantz next door. But for some of us who remember the good old days when people would call a child's mother to come see their child dancing worry, the days of explaining that when you started dancing, you were this high, then you were that high, now you're this high. Or the days we'd hear precautionary tales warning us against trying the great fire of the big nas. To those people who miss those days, I present to you the Sony MHC the a 2 d So I haven't been sure what to really call this piece of tech, right? I know there's been a huge spike in popularity of Bluetooth speakers these days, from pocket-sized speakers to huge LED disco emitting mzonkongos similar to this one. But I feel as if this speaker is more than just a speaker. At the top of this unit, right, they write home audio system. And I don't know, I think I'd call it home entertainment system because not only is this a Bluetooth speaker, but there's also a CD tray on here. And when I saw the DVD logo on this, I was confused because why would a speaker have a DVD logo on it? But, but Sony actually fit in a DVD player in here. I'm, I'm shook. It was so hard finding a DVD disc in my house to test out if this feature actually works. But after digging, I finally found each Oya Celebration Part 36 Umzalona's Redemption on DVD. And I tested it and it really plays DVDs guys. So the V82D is also a radio. It has an antenna slot at the back. I've been using it as my main speaker as I connected it to my PC via RCA cables at the back. It also has an HDMI, HDMI out port to connect your TV so you can watch your DVDs. And I know most of the people who watch this channel pirate movies online, so you're like, a DVD, what? But I know it's a nice feature to have, man, guys, especially for those of you guys who have access to your dad's tower rack of DVDs collection with Irambo 123 in original pack packaging. So don't go down without a fight. It's Friday, action night. What surprised me the most, though, are the audio jacks. So the V82D has a mic jack and a guitar jack. So not only is this a karaoke machine, but I see the term REC at the top of this USB slot. And if this means what I think it means, where Sony is saying that you can get a guitar and a mic and record your debut mixtape to a USB flash, then brah, are you also saying that this is a studio too? Because I, I don't have a karaoke mic right now on me to try it out, but trust me and trust it, soon I will. Maybe I'll come back to music. So you might think adding a DVD player to this is backwards, but one of the ways Sony is moving forward is their app integration with their hardware. So they have like two apps, right? Called Music Center and Fiesta Ball where you can basically remote control your speaker with features like DJ control, setting up the LED lights the way you want them, voice and motion control, and other party trick features. There's a party chain, right? Where if you find another person with a Sony speaker, you can connect the speakers to each other and make a bigger rush. 
So gesture control is where you swipe left or you swipe right to change the song, or you can even change the pitch of a song by lowering your palm above the speaker. You can even lower the volume by doing a round sign. Even though these are so cool to come out to guests when you show them the speaker, maybe these are actually useful features to somebody who'd use the speaker to DJ. So I sat down with a real DJ and spoke about these features and gestures to figure out if it's a gimmick or not. If it's a gimmick or not. <laughs> I wanted to figure out if it is a gimmick or not. So I brought a guy who might or might not use it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Arcade. Tubi. Well, how was good, Tubi? It's good. This is your first time on the channel? It is, it is. It's so I guess you could say, Velo Afila is Tubi. Shout out to Daddy for everyone. Thank you. Fuck that shit, that was horrible. <laughs> anyway, guys, Tubi is a professional DJ. He has uh, music events, he hosts his own music events. I like that, I like professional DJ. Yeah, okay, yeah. Like you don't do it on virtual DJ only. Yeah, yeah. Tube is a professional DJ, guys. He's part of a, a duo of musicians called uh, Nouveau Ox, right? Nouveau. Nu Nouveau. Nouveau Ox. Nouveau. Yeah. Nouveau. Nouveau Ox. Nouveau. Yeah. They play music mostly for hippies. Um, and you find them a drum. And great game, you know they got Marvel. He has drop he has dreads, so that should <laughs> show him. Anyway, to me, to me has the same speaker, guys. He has the same exact speaker. I got it around the same time that I did. Um actually I actually got it first because you know. Yeah, it's semantics, man. Because I'm a professional. Ah, uh, please, man. <laughs> anyway, Utube, one thing that interested me about Tube is that he wanted to use it for um playing, like actually performing with the speaker in small rooms. Well, moderately small rooms. Mm. So he recently had an event uh, called Soul Set Sundays. Sound set. Oh, that, that's what I said. Sound set Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> that he played. Uh, what is that? Fifty. The fifty person room, right? Fifty. Uh, no, it, it it takes about a hundred. But that day we had about like sixty seventy. Sixty seventy. So it's a hundred capacity room. It's uh, it's not it's not a huge room, but yeah, it's a hundred capacity room. So to me, how did the speaker perform? Would you say in your opinion? Um, now I'm talking loudness, like. I know it was an additional speaker yeah. uh, on top of other speakers that you had, yeah. but it was mostly like the main yes. speaker. Yeah. I think if anything, we didn't need the other speakers. For real? Um, yeah, the, this thing comes with a the, sub, with tweeters, the, yeah. the other things, yeah. even the speakers at the back. Yeah. So it was really, really loud. Yeah. Like I was, because like, like from the entrance where the speaker was, you could yeah. hear clearly. Like oh, you, for real? You could literally hear. And, and the nice thing about it is that when the night time came, yeah. and, you know, I'm allowed to... Oh, it, use the LEDs so yeah, you look like a club. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it, it kind of did both things. If you wanted to have like a, a nice uh, feel to yes. it. Uh, ambiance. Yeah, ambiance. Yeah, yeah. Ambiance, the whole thing. It yeah. actually covered all of that. So it was very, very dope. I like... I was I was impressed with it. One thing I want to talk about also is the is the gesture controls if, mm. that you've seen on the on the speaker. You can wave, you can up go up and down with your hand, uh, twirl around with your finger to increase or decrease the volume mm. and stuff like that, and add some DJing effects with uh, with your hand too. So it's completely gesture controlled. Yeah. To be let's be honest right now, how practical are those features? Is that a gimmick or not? You can be honest. It's okay. Review. Okay. Yeah. Um, Would you use it in a normal setting? I think my thing is if I'm like at home. Yeah. And I'm trying to like take it easy. I'm sure. not using those things. Oh, right? Okay. But if I'm hosting an event mm. and I want to do cool shit where people are like, what the fuck is happening? Exactly. Yeah. Then it, it it has a purpose. Yeah. But on an everyday basis. Because basis, yeah. now the thing is that you have to be close to, to the speaker and you DJing from far. Yes. Okay, okay. Right. Yeah. And 
I think that's why it's nice that there's an app. Yeah. Oh, there's, yes, yes, there's an app. Yeah, yeah. but then you know, that's another thing. <laughs> um, but on its own, I think it's very dope. If yeah. Very easy. But then if you want to control volume, you can control volume on your phone. Oh, exactly. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, but basically what we're, spe- what we're speaking about is that it is kind of a party uh, speaker. So those gesture controls are party tricks that yeah. you can impress people with. While like, hey, they'll come, what's the one I can do something with the speaker because the, the, the gestures are pretty dope. And you can also do them from afar with your mobile device because of the app, like to be said. Yeah. So they, they're pretty dope. But one feature that I think you might be, also be able to be interested but one feature that I think you might also be interested in too, it's the wireless party function where you can connect like two Many or speakers, more yeah. speakers together right. and basically create a sound sound or like... You know what I also like about this thing? It, it has that beating. That yes. Beating. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you listen to a song, yeah. you can kind of like... Beats to it. Do like a remix, yeah. a live remix, right? So that's also another feature that builds onto how a DJ would yeah, use so, it. Yeah. So if you know like your fruity loops and all of those things and yeah. like the types of sounds that you'd want to do yeah you just you could beat on it like a drum literally yeah. literally beat, beat on it like a drum and the yeah. thing is that when you have that feature on no matter what you press yeah you, you it literally it. becomes a drum so oh, that's yeah. i think that's is one of the favorite features especially as a dj ba- basically yeah yeah so it is it a speaker you recommend for djs and stuff like that especially for performing within small areas and stuff i think like that. For me, what I'd recommend the speaker highly for is if you know that you have events, sure, but your events are like catered to like a hundred people, yeah, or yeah, less, yeah. or less, yeah, perfect. Yeah. So, like, if you're like, let's say, if you want to do something romantic, even f- for the baby, yeah, you book out Airbnb, yes, you know, bring the speaker, <laughs> yeah, and you know, you do the thing. So yeah. I think it has great functionality in the fact that you can use it for like those type of things yeah but if you don't have a, a home sound speaker at home yeah this is perfect perfect yeah perfect and it, it, it does it takes everything it's encompassing you know it, the DVD, DVD, like, it, yeah. radio it, 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 yeah. it literally will cover all the things that you'd feel like you'd need because mm. i need to wait when you buy a sound system, system yeah. buy a one Speaker, then yeah. you must buy another one. Exactly. Then you must buy the actual device. Yes. So and it then encompasses yeah, all of that. Yeah, it, it literally mm. it it so if you're looking for like a quick boom yeah. thing to buy, I think it's pretty good. But then now if you're staying at your mother's house like <laughs> <laughs> uh, But you spoke about uh taking it to like some some place like an Airbnb or something mm-hmm. like that. And that's the next issue that I wanna uh, that's the next topic that I wanna touch yeah. on, which is portability. <laughs> okay, I'm being dramatic, but I wanted the whole speaker in frame. <laughs> so I think what really makes a party speaker for me would be exactly that, portability. So how portable is this speaker? I shame, it's not. This is a 31 kg speaker and yes, it's heavy. They even tried to help the situation by adding wheels below the speaker, but lifting this speaker is a mission for real. And another thing that like ties this speaker down is that it needs to be connected to a power outlet. There's no battery in here which really does reinforce the home in home audio system. This is not a bro, please bring the speaker to my house so we can listen to some music and eat speaker. It's a nah, I'd rather ya yeah, come to my house and we listen to the speaker here speaker. So yeah, hey, honestly, I find speaker reviews challenging. Like when it comes to the sound part, especially because sure, I can tell you that the speaker is loud and yay, yeah, but if I play it, you'll only hear it as good as your laptop speakers can belt out. And I also don't have the best audio recording system, but like, take my word for it. It sounds great. It's Sony, it's audio. That's a brand you can trust when it comes to audio. This speaker comes with a few audio presets, depending on how you want to hear your sound. Modes like live sound, excited, movie, chill out, flat, and so much more. But you can also make your own custom sound settings to cater for your ears. I stay on excited. I think it does really well with both music and dialogue. The highs are present enough and the bass doesn't overwhelm you. And like speaking of bass, I am a huge fan of bass. 
I like my headphones bassy. I have a sub and amp in my car. Obviously, I'm slow. And I'm friends with Dali Danger. Hey, what's good, man? This speaker delivers over and above on bass. And it even has a bass boost if you really want to feel the vibrations on your feet. I never ever use it at full volume unless I'm trying to impress someone or anger my mom. But I figured, hey, let's just try the loudness test anyway. So let's go. I barely have any complaints about this speaker. I mean, I wish it was more portable, but like I said, this speaker belongs at home next to your TV or PC as maybe your main home audio entertainment system. So I understand why it's not like a charge and go speaker. It packs so much features. I do wish the remote receiver was all over the speaker because you literally have to raise your hand with the remote to change the volume or change something else. But to round it off, I really think Sony is modernizing and compacting their Mgongo offering with this unit. Maybe this is geared towards a younger market compared to a 7.1 channel audio system, but I would definitely choose this over a many speaker unit like that. Uh, but during the month, I've been using the speaker as my main driver and it's been really treating me well. There are so many features I didn't even have a chance to go through. Some of them I haven't even discovered. Like, apparently there's a game you can play on the speaker using the app. It's really a basic game, like maybe about Pac-Man or something like that, but it's, it's a game. Just put a PlayStation Classic in this Sony. Remove the DVD player, maybe. Do it, just put a PlayStation Classic. But yeah, for, for price, I really don't know the official price. I saw the exact speaker, but a smaller version, about half the size, and it was like 5,000 Rand. So I'd estimate this to be around 11,000 or 15K at most. I'm not sure, but I'll definitely recommend this as your main home audio driver. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. My name has been OK Wasabi from Fosolas 1475. The hoodest skin niggas died to the last supply with the clouds are too close to the ground to all to the sky. And you were watching RKZA. Till again, next time.